calling all members of the Broke Boys Club. We've got a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent series. Now jumping into episode 10 of our Broke Adventures. And y'all can see this is the team we've got going into season three of 2K23, my team. Can't wait for the new grind. Can't wait for what's hopefully gonna be a ton of rewards to go for. And also 2K adjusted one thing that's gonna be awesome for us no money spent players that might actually be worth the grind. But y'all can see this is the roster we're rocking with. Now, if I was super smart and all about saving my MT, yes, I would have sold Kobe. Yes, I would have sold De'Aaron Fox, but here's the thing. At the end of the day, I am trying to be a budget beast, but I also want to be able to enjoy the cards that I'm using. And if I enjoy using Kobe a ton, and if I enjoy using De'Aaron Fox a ton, why do I need to sell them? So that's something to keep in mind, guys, as you watch these videos. I'm always going to give you tips on who's going to be the best value player, but at the end of the day, use who you want. It's called my team for a reason go have fun with your team and of course i hope you guys had yourselves a wonderful weekend let me get a vibe check in the comment section man what have you guys been up to are y'all doing okay mentally i gotta know keep me updated y'all are my viewers y'all are just as important man but uh yeah, season three is going to be exciting. Y'all can see I'm already level five, and that's because I wanted to do a small little thing that will give us a bit of a head start here into this series, and I think it's going to be big time. Now, one thing from the last episode, we got this Ping Diamond Ivaka Zubak, and y'all saw, I don't like this card at all, and we're going to be getting rid of him in today's episode. At the very least, he's going to be where Rafe LaFrance is, because uh, the packs the 2K dropped on Friday... They were an absolute dub, man. We skip over the Pink Diamonds. We can't afford that. Obi Toppin looks great. Rudy Gate is very solid. Probably the most expensive diamond here next to Diamond Giannis Antetokounmpo. But of course, if you can't afford the diamond, there is an Amethyst option. And now they're finally starting to release those budget beasts we know the names of. When you think of Mo Bamba, when you think of Gerald Green, automatically budget demon or discount demon from previous 2Ks already pops up. So I'm looking to secure them. And the way I'm going to do it is I already got a head start on this challenge. This is what I was talking about. The fire. No more do we have to do the block and steals and everything all we have to do is score 30 points and get one block as a team super easy then five dunks as a team and then for this one all we're gonna have to do is win it which is gonna be even easier now the reason i said 2k finally added something that might be worth it as a no money spent player when you hop on over to takeovers guys there's finally a pink diamond takeover card that's gonna be there to grind for now i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to do it all this week because i've got a lot of things going on but hopefully we can even get lucky with our clutch time wheel method i keep seeing on twitter that it's been working for a ton of y'all and y'all have already gotten a ton of alan houston's so i'm super happy for you guys and then another card i'm looking to secure is going to be this diamond Corey mcgetty i saw his jumper and i saw how he plays defense this is a card I want on my no money spent account. He's super easy to get. So if y'all can get him, I would advise you get him because he's going to be gone in about a day and a half here. All we got to do is win one more triple threat game and we're vibing. Now this season, level 40, Trey Young, he's going to be a cool card, but definitely no one I'm going to be stressing to grind for. And honestly, if you're a no money spent player, unless Trey Young is one of your favorite players of all time, I don't think the grind is necessarily going to be worth it like that. I do like how they added a centerpiece in here. You get the Hall of Fame badge earlier and they did update rewards in every single mode and made it easier look you can even skip tiers to see what you get at the next mark of clutch time so that's super super nice we're gonna be able to get a centerpiece twice here wasn't really grinding for centerpieces in previous seasons but we're gonna be locked in this season like i said but i'm gonna start things off by finishing off this fire challenge i'm not gonna go out there and shop for the budget cards if i might be able to pull one here for free so kobe let's get to work now, of course, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. On that grind to that half a milli milestone, man, we're already at 401,000, so 99K more to go. The grind don't stop. And if we manage to hit 2,500 likes on this video, I got y'all with the next no money spent as soon as possible. What kind of layup is that? Lockdown Defender Pack secured alongside that Fire Award Pack. Hopefully now we can actually get more guaranteed players from this set. Because recently that grind's been looking a little iffy for us. Y'all can see we've still got all those. We'll soon be able to just choose whatever pink diamond we want, but... Come on, Giannis, I need you to come home. This episode is definitely going to be filled with a big roster adjustment for us, and we're not seeing a single shake, man. Can it at least be a Fire and Ice player? Okay, so we got two of them, Scotty Barnes and Nate Robinson. I need an originally owned one anyways for that XP grind. There's so much XP out there already, but 
that's out of the way we might as well go ahead and you know secure that Corey Maggetti imagine if we get something out of the wheel here so for those of you that have that Ping Diamond Allen Houston, let me know how he is. On paper, he looks solid, but I haven't had the chance to try him because I didn't get him on my main account just yet. At the end of the day, it is a virtual card, but it's a lot of games to grind for. Just remember that right now we're in the holiday season, and if you have time to spend with family and friends, I would definitely say prioritize that. Because like I just said, it's a virtual card. Two months from now, the card is likely not going to matter. By next year, we're going to be in a new 2K, so just remember to live in the moment and enjoy enjoy these things with family and friends because in a moment you'll be like man if only so do not live with regret you can always come back to 2k anytime stuff like that is important though and i get it not everyone has family and friends to go to and you might use video games as an escape in that sense try not to stress yourself out too much when playing these video games it's a video game at the end of the day do what makes you have the most fun man but uh right here we've got a nice little vault to open hopefully we can get lucky can the Allen Houston 2K gods bless you, boy? Come on. We're on our way to secure Corey Maggetti. Give me both takeover players and I'll geek. Stupid. All right. Thank you for closing on me. Ooh, we unlocked the Ascension board. So y'all can see Pink Diamond Josh Smith is the card. Definitely a major improvement from, you know, Diamond Ben Wallace in season two. But here's the thing. Why are we getting recycled cards in these Ascensions? Maybe it's just me. And I get the 2K is probably trying to do it so that people can get their hands on these cards if they didn't in the previous seasons. But I don't know. Something about it just being like a card from the past bothers me. I like new content. And we can't even get past this first board. Board? Oh my goodness, it took us what six picks? That's ridiculous. If I find the one that moves on to the next level, y'all gotta hit the like button right now. Something's telling me it's right ah! there. Ah! The amount of non auctionable shooting guards we have is crazy, which is why it would technically be smart to sell Kobe, but come on, Kobe is too much of a bucket. Corey Maggetti, though, four Hall of Famers, bully, corner specialist, off ball pest, and brick wall. You're gonna be able to use this man in a pick and roll. His stats are super solid, too. 88 three ball defense is super, super solid, very athletic. And in case y'all wanna see that jumper, oh yeah, look at that. He's moving. And look at how fast that jumper is. 2K stays blessing anybody that is bald in 2K. If I had to go bald to get a 99 overall card in my team, I might do it. Actually, I don't know. We'll have to see, but... Yeah, man, Corey Maggetti has always been a budget god in previous my teams, and now it's not even budget. It, it's literally free, and his jumper is so nice. I'm really surprised at how nice that is. Now, I don't think he's the best dribble god or anything, but if you start running at the rim, remember that you do have that Hall of Fame bully, so he's going to be fun to use. We'll definitely try him out online. Now, last I remember, I did sell a bunch of Amethyst cards that I no longer needed, so my Magic Johnson, what just happened? What is going on here? My Magic Johnson, thank you. Kelly Oubre, unfortunately, he had to go. Duncan Robinson was fun early on. And Karis LeVert, we definitely took a hit because we spent like 10K MT on him. We're only getting 3.5 back. But when he was around, he was big time for us. And then Kareem bought him and sold him once again because of that Pioneer XP. So now we're sitting on 51,000 MT. And the first card I am looking to get, he ha he's got a song named after him. I got hoes calling. <laughs> oh my goodness, this card is 1700 MT, maybe less. I'm seeing 1650. Ooh, this one's shiny. I'll pay the extra 200 MT for a shiny one, but Mo Bamba looks like he's going to be a super solid card. The other card I do want to try out is Obi Toppin. Now, I'm going to be honest, Rudy Gay is definitely going to be better, and we all acknowledge Rudy Gay as a deadly card every single year in my team for that reason people know ball so yeah he's probably going for a lot more than 30k mt that's the problem he's technically a budget card but he's in like the middle class i am still in the lower class here man i can't afford cards like this not at the cost of pretty much all my wealth right there but obi toppin someone who could be very solid at the bench at our power forward spot he's actually got a decent jumper i'd have to quickly look at his stats here again but i don't remember seeing anything too wrong six foot nine 87 three insane driving dunk defensively he's not elite but he's very good on the perimeter and the interior decent rebounder got some solid athleticism at the end i mean i'm glad i got diamond danny manning at the end of the day but this guy's gonna be not too bad off the bench you look at the badges fast twitch limitless takeoff and posterizer and aerial wizard all i gotta do is throw an alley-oop to this man so 
10,700 MT for a diamond. Don't mind if I do. Now, of course, I would have loved to look up Giannis onto the Kumpo because that's probably one card y'all want to see on the budget team, but let's be real. Giannis onto the Kumpo is not going for a budget price. 50k, I, I literally cannot afford him. Even if I tried to snipe him, he'd have to be going for damn near 30k under his price for me to get him. Now, his Amethyst card, from what people have told me, is still very nice. He's got that Hall of Fame bully at the end of the day, which is nice. He's got himself a 66 three ball, so don't even really think about shooting that unless he's got a shoe and a coach boost. But I mean, he's going to be very similar to the other Amethyst Giannis. It's just that this one's got that Hall of Fame bully, which don't get me wrong, is big, but you definitely want someone who can kind of spread the floor at this point in the year. And that's why we went with Obi. So guys, funny thing right here. I'm scrolling through my stuff here to see if there's anything that's worth it. And there was a transcendent pack just sitting here the whole time. From when I was grinding that Paul George stuff I said I was going to do off camera, I forgot we got it and we didn't open it. So let's open this right here. Imagine I get pink diamond or even the diamond Kobe. Give me an unauctionable one. I'd feel better. Now we know that can't be Amethyst Kobe again because we already have him. We pray to the 2K gods above and we say it together. Three, two, one, Kobe. Okay, so it's gonna be an Amethyst. Ah, man, I really thought we were gonna get the diamond. I have no idea who, oh, Symbolar. That's right, see, he's cool, but Mobamba definitely clears. Imagine if we got that whole set unauctionable because we got Kobe, we got Sim, but yeah, man, I think right now it's time to jump into some clutch time online. Definitely gonna miss not having Kobe out there, but I wanna see what Corey can do. Obi and Mo Bamba should be a ton of fun. I haven't had the chance to practice Mo Bamba's jumper that much, but hey, what better time to practice than online? Let's get busy. All right, man, first game of the day, Mo Bamba against Joel Embiid. You don't have a song written after you. I'm not sure what this guy's doing on the mic, but it is what it is. Hit that screen. Oh yeah, Darren Fox go all the way through, drawing the foul, almost getting that end one there. Darren Fox is such a solid point guard. At some point, they'll probably drop like an Amethyst Isaac Bonga or someone who's tall and can move, but for now, we're chilling with the Fox, man. Like I said, Corey's got that Hall of Fame brick wall. Hit that screen. All the way through. Dot that. OG no B. That boy don't miss. Yo, we've got ourselves a solid team. We might not be the Avengers, but we're the discount demons. Lock it up, Corey. Way to play defense, my guy. Get the rebound. Start running on the break. Catch the ball all the way. Hey, oh, what a block there. Pump fake that. Corey Maggetti open for a three. Look at how silky that jumper is. He's super, super nice. I mean, I still like Kobe better at the end of the day because he can create an offense a bit better, but Maggetti is definitely worth it. What kind of shot is that? Did you think when you took that shot? Guys, get up the court. Mo, what are you doing so close to me? Like, Embiid is able to guard two people there at a time. It looks like this guy's given up defensively, and this game's pretty much over, but this is such a troll first game. Fight for the rebounds there. Long as we fight for rebounds as a unit, we gonna be all right. Maggetti, the Lina, bang! Ooh. Come on, Mo, let's get you open. There we go, little pick. And pop, there's the first three of the night. Easy catch and shoot, and look at... Wow, like, I'm gonna say this, best value big man in the game, especially for budget players, no question he is a pickup. This game is turning ugly real quick. Bamba off the catch and shoot again! Yo! So that was a cakewalk first game, but I'm definitely not complaining. There he is, Ping Diamond Allen Houston. Two and a half spins, come on, one, two, half. Was that half? I think I might've messed up a little bit. What, oh, if it went to Corey Maggetti, that would have been so troll. That I always hate it when I get a duplicate, especially after grinding for a card. That happened to me on my main account. Soon as I got a card, literally played a game of Unlimited, it opened, and it was that player. It's the most, I swear 2K does it on purpose. Yo, Mo, I need you to go out there, and I need you to fight your heart out against this gigantic slow man. Hit him with a pick and pop. Yes, sir. OB, dime that. That's not contested. Look at how nice that jumper is. This is where we could face problems. Good defense. I'm jumping again. Get that out of here. I got hoes calling. Get the rebound there, gang. Come on. We moving. He's hitting that square button. That's perfect for us. Little crossover. Obi topping. I thought we had that. Mo, that's you. Bang. Way to step up against this money team, man. 
Yo, this guy is trying to sweat it out. Look, he's got the full court press. It is never that serious. All the way, he's going to be jumping, and I got my layup. It's that easy. Full court pressing, doing all this, and we're calmly just hooping with our budget team. Good defense, good defense, good defense there, boys. I'm there. Look at Fox with a contest. He might be tiny, but the man's got heart. Cross that up. Thank you. Obi, roll with me. Hey! Is he out of here? Just like that, our opponent has left the match. Oh, you love to see it, man. You love to see it. So it's pretty fair to say that uh, Mo Bamba, Obi Toppin, and Corey Maggetti, all phenomenal additions to not just my team, but likely yours or anybody's team. Whether you're a budget player or not, you can't deny that they're hoopers. That's on the half. Come on. Oh, it's gonna go to Corey. Yo, it keeps going to Corey. Interesting. This guy's got himself a legit team. Oh, he's got Jermaine O'Neal at the four. So he's definitely trying to take advantage of the whole size. That's good defense. That's so contested. The game tried to pull me out of the screen. We could not get the rebound, and he gets the dunk. Fake that drive. Snatch back. Driving right through. OB topping. Oh, yeah. That's an easy blow by. I see how you're playing defense, my guy. All right, come on. Let's wake up. Defense. Good defense. Good defense. Get there. Good. Close out there by OB topping. Yo, we're getting killed on boards. Oh, that's the only problem right now. That's a steal. Yo, he's going right through my body. Good defense. Everyone just keep jumping. Keep jumping. Good defense again. Look at, he's getting so many rebounds, bro. Mobamba, that should have been another block. Give me that. Thank you, Mobamba. Way to lock it up. He's going to be hitting that square button. Wait for it. Now get it down there. That's ah. you. Ooh, he missed. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Good block. Get the, we can't. We've lost. We've lost this game because there's literally no way for me to get rebounds. And he's going to... Oh, look at this! Oh! Y'all are looking at that, right? Nine offensive rebounds. Nine. Finesse that, thank you. Fake the drive. Mo, you got me. That's an easy three. I saw how he was playing defense as long as we're hitting our shots. I am not losing. I got my face in my monitor right now. Watch this. Incredible dot coming once again. Mo, 4-3. He keeps sitting on Ilgoskis like Mo isn't the best shooting big in the game. Good defense. Good defense. Way to be there, Cor. What? Get around that. Get around that. He's going to throw it inside. Good defense. Good defense. Hands up. Hands up. He's going right into my body. As long as we hold it down with Mo, that's a block. Let's go. Pure hands up defense. Danny Manning, run with... Stupid. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Okay, okay. Oh, my team is trolling incredibly hard. Mo Bamba open for three once again. He's not missing any of those. The problem is we're not getting any stops. Yep, he's running into my body. That's perfectly fine though. Watch him score that. This... That's not a steal. Watch him score. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Okay, that was nice. That was nice. Triple kill. So one thing I'm learning, Mo Bamba, offensively amazing, but um, definitely getting killed on the rebounds. And honestly, in that second game that I lost, that guy was hitting some crazy shots. So I'm just trying not to get too mad. We ended up winning our third game there, so we did not get reset. Did not spin the wheel right, right there. Likely not gonna get Allen Houston there, but it is what it is. I'm gonna keep my cool. I'm probably gonna need to find some kind of shoe for Mo Bamba so that he's a bit better of a rebounder. His rim protection, amazing. It's just the rebounding that's a little bit tough. Yeah, so this game should be fun. He's got two of the best rebounders in the game. Dwight Howard and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Mo Bamba trailing, go ahead and put that down. All right, let's try not to get mad this game. Let's see how this one goes. It's not even like Mo Bamba is in bad positioning. He literally just cannot get the ball. That's in his face. Yeah, Devin Booker, play better defense, my guy. Oh my goodness. Get down the court. He's going to throw it. Good defense there, Mo. That's what I'm looking for. Stopping. Oh, OG. I thought you had that. I'm not going to lie. All right. Uh, let's go into a little pick and fade. Let's get Dwight Howard out of the paint so I can do my thing. There we go. Catch and shoot. Danny Manning. Give me all three of those. Get there, Mo. Get there. Good defense there, Corey. Look at the rebound there by Mo. Like, he's always in good positioning. Oh, that's an easy blow by. OG, you got me. Take that baseline all the way through. 
Pump fake. Danny! 4-2! I'm telling y'all, man. Danny Manning is so nice. Throw that here. Good defense there, Fox! Now, again, if y'all think I'm overreacting by what I'm saying... Oh, OG's open for three. Look at how he caught that. Thank you for hitting it, but <laughs> don't catch it like that again, man. If y'all think I'm overreacting to some of the things that are happening, let me know in the comments. I'm all for being humbled. It's just... I'm really stunned at some of the animations I've been getting. Yup, I'm right there. Devin Booker, I know you got that fast jumper. I'm okay with him getting that rebound because I had no positioning. But it's when the ball is literally taken out of my hands. That's crazy. That's a steal. Oh, well. What will I slide? Yup. We're playing elite defense here. Y'all can see it. Now, let's see if I get out-rebounded here. We don't because we have good placements. One stop here should do it. One stop here should do it. He might be out of here just like that. Our opponent has left the match. That kind of rebounding is what should have been happening in the previous games. Because I get it. Mo Bamba is not going to be an elite rebounder. But it's more the fact that I'm literally in place and the ball is in his hands. But it goes through his hands and someone else gets the rebound. That's where I get annoyed. I know by all means Mo Bamba is not going to be the best rebounder in the game. But seeing stuff like that definitely sucks. That was a two and a half spinner. Oh, is this gonna be the one? Nah, it's looking like a 250. Oh! Oh, that looked like it was actually gonna go back for a second, but... Alan Houston, it looks like we might not see you today, man. One more win. I gotta get one more win in today. It's been a stressful day. So Bruh. this looks like one of those guys that I'm assuming is hunting for four pointers because that's like one of the agendas right now. So I'm going to play some defense, then I'll let him hit a couple shots, then I'll probably hit some four pointers of my own. But hey, we got ourselves a free game. Definitely not mad at that. It, it's been quite the stressful day. Corey Maggetti though, this car has been phenomenal. Come on, show him what that jumper looked like. So good. Go get this card ASAP. Yo, what's up, my guy? I appreciate it. <laughs> Are you just going for your four-pointers? Yo! What's up, man? I'm good. How you doing, man? Are you just grinding for your centerpiece or what? It's all good, man. I'll leave you open. I appreciate the love on the channel, man. You didn't think I was going to reply, or what? I, I don't know. It's just crazy that I, that I run into you. Just so rude. I appreciate the love, man. Hey, good luck on the series. Yo, thank you so much. Thank you, Brody. Have a good weekend. Hey, he finally hits himself a four-pointer, but, uh, yo, running into subscribers is always a ton of fun. I love chatting with you guys. Like, I can't always chat, so if I hear you on the mic all the time, I can't just hop on because sometimes I'm playing late at night or my girlfriend's sleeping, but anytime I get the chance to hop on the mic and talk to you guys, it's always a pleasure because, again, y'all put me in the place that I'm in today, so if y'all are going to show love on the mic, the least I can do is hop on and chat with you guys a little bit, so thank you all. Corey Maggetti. This card is so good! Jeez, man. Like, I'm really debating if I even really need Allen Houston. Hey! Pow! Ugh! Corey, from damn near half court. Imagine he hits that. Thank you, my guy, for the free win. I'm glad you got to hit a couple more four-pointers. I probably, you know, use someone that actually has limitless range. I don't think Derrick Rose does. Nor is this three-pointer really the highest. Probably look for that level 40 Devin Booker. Oh, is this the one? Ah, uh, no. That's going to end up in 100. So, no luck with Pink Diamond Allen Houston today. I think I'm pretty much going to rely on either the wheel or the vaults getting Allen Houston. Because, again, 135 games, especially when I'm grinding on two different My Team accounts... It's just gonna be a lot. Doing all that on my main accounts and then this account, it's all crazy. But overall, I'm super happy with our additions. Mo Bamba is solid, Obi Toppin, Jeremy Grant just had to go. This card is so solid for his price. And I like what I'm running with our lineups here. Danny with Bamba because Danny's a better rebounder. And then you got Embiid with Obi because Embiid's a better rebounder and Obi's jumper is just faster. Zaire Williams is still that person at small forward for me until we maybe end up getting Rudy Gay. But honestly, I like what Zaire does a lot. I know Rudy's jumper is fire, but it's a little bit slower than last year 
here at the same time and again we got someone that's 6'9 at small forward so I'm not exactly stressing that what I do need to improve is my point guard spot we got Darren Fox and Kevin Johnson who don't get me wrong has been great I'm looking for an upgrade hopefully we get that on a Tuesday pack because when we even go look at this whole season three thing, I don't think there's anyone here that plays point guard like that. Like there's Jamal Murray, but he goes for an insane price because he's a lock-in card. Those two games that we lost, we were definitely facing some adversity. I was literally ready to close my app. Right here, we've got that Ascension once again. If I can get that Josh Smith high key, I'd be super, super happy. Not sure if he even plays on my team, honestly. He, he might play over Obi Toppin simply because of his defense and rebounding. His jumper definitely isn't my favorite though. It looks like we're not gonna make it to the top. Watch the piece be right here the whole time. Okay, so it's not. It's always in this top left corner, I swear. Double, okay, so we got one more chance here, come on. Let's keep it moving. Why are we always ending it on a foul, man? A Sapphire player pack. That's gonna be another Larry Sanders on the bright side I can probably use these guys towards some kind of XP grind. So that'll be nice Definitely got a lot of packs here that I just need to open and get out of the way the shoe packs I know y'all don't really care that much. So I'm just gonna leave that right there But all around a fairly productive rage inducing episode to start the new season man Hopefully we get some fire content on Tuesday I'm probably gonna grind a bit more clutch time offline off camera because I really do want to get it done and get those centerpieces And if we end up getting Allen Houston with a wheel method y'all know I'll get it on camera But that's gonna do it for today man If y'all have any recommendations for my team or anything that I should be grinding help each other out on the comment section At the end of the day, we are the broke boy community, but uh, that's gonna do it if y'all enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like for you new viewers. Sub up on that grind to 500k. You already know. And as always, I appreciate y'all, man. Take care.